जोवार वेजिटेबल उपमा बाजरा खिचड़ी रागी लड्डू बाजरे का चूरमा दीज आर जस्ट अ फ्यू आइटम्स दैट विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर ऑल द मिनिस्टर्स इन द पार्लियामेंट हाउस कैंटीन्स So what does your daily diet look like apart from the most popular wheat and rice are there other cereals that you consume the reduced presence of these in our daily diet is leading to lifestyle diseases like diabetes and obesity with their accompanying complications so what are the essential nutrients that we need and where can we get them the answer is whole grains grains like jowar or sorghum pearl millet finger millet and buckwheat which are prepared on special occasions are excellent sources of nutrition let us understand the significance of this group of grains these superfoods called millets millets are one of the oldest foods known to humankind their charred grains have been found at the harappan sites and they are also mentioned in the vedas an ancient grain millets have been used both for our consumption and as animal feed scientifically speaking millets are a group of small seeded cereal grains that belong to the family of grasses depending upon their size they are broadly divided into two categories major millets and minor millets botanists have counted two pseudo millets too namely buckwheat and amaranth millets are superfoods they outshine wheat and rice in many aspects they are high in both macronutrients like proteins and micronutrients like iron and calcium they guard us against many vitamin and mineral deficiencies they are rich in fiber are gluten free and have a low glycemic index gi which means low impact on your blood sugar cold drinks pizzas and burgers have high gi fun fact finger millets have over 10 times the calcium content of wheat or rice and barnyard has over 5 times the iron look at the approximate nutrient content given per 100 grams of the edible portion of a food crop displayed in these graphics Millets can grow with less water and in harsh temperatures. For example, pearl millet can grow well in Rajasthan's heat. Minor millets provide enough yield even when the monsoons fail. Furthermore, millet farming does not need chemical fertilizers much and their crops hardly attract any pests. So cultivating them is not only inexpensive but is also good for our environment. Today we don't see much cultivation of millets in India but that wasn't the case always millets were quite common until a few decades ago in the tribal parts of our country they still are before the green revolution millet production was about 40% of all cultivated grains contributing much more than wheat and rice however since the revolution the production of rice has doubled and of wheat has tripled Over time as millets became less attractive to urban and young consumers they ended up becoming the poor man's food Today millets are available as cookies bars and snacks but try avoiding these packaged foods as they have a lot of refined flour and sugar People need to gain awareness about the benefits of millets Many people have also forgotten how to cook them It can be used as a substitute for rice in almost any rice based dish. You can also make porridge, roti, khichdi, upma, dosha and kheer out of millets. In 2021-22, India was the largest producer of millets in the world. Rajasthan, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana were the top 5 millet producing states in our country. This is because of the efforts of these states and their governments. The parliament has already added millets to their canteen menus to promote its consumption and to honor 
the year of millets more on that in the following episode of the millet series if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and write down in the comment section what you liked in this video and what else you would like to watch on our channel if you are interested in such topics and others related to sustainability and our environment please subscribe to down to earth mm -hmm.